Good evening, everyone. Uh, today I'll be preaching out of the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 7, verses 15 to 29. If we would all please stand and honor the reading of God's word. Verses 15 to 29. The Bible says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or fawns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corruptive tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Yes. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Amen. Many will say to me that they, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. These are the verses that I would like to focus on today. Verses 24 to 27. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Let's go to God in prayer. Our Heavenly Father God, we thank you so much that we get to gather together here in a dry place, God, in your presence. What a privilege it is. I pray, God, that you guide me in this uh, preaching, please. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. amen. What a fearful and a hopeful passage. Fearful depending on the choices you make. The question I would like to ask this evening is, what is the foundation like in your home? Are you like a wise man which built his house upon a rock? Or are you like the foolish man which built his house upon the sand? Let's see what happens again to that house that is built on the sand by the foolish man. In Matthew 7, 26, the Bible says, And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. The reason why people build their house on the sand boils down to two reasons. And that is, they refuse to listen to what God has to say, and they do not wish to obey God's words. Jesus continues to say in verse 27, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and it beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. People who choose to build their house on the sand think they're no better than God, think they're better off without Him, when really that's just not the case. They need God, and they need Jesus as the rock and foundation. Building a house on sand is a picture of a man trusting in his own works. No matter how many times he builds that house after each time it falls, it will never remain standing. It needs to be built upon a rock, and that rock is Jesus Christ. Amen. How do we know if a house is built upon a rock? Well, it says in Matthew 7, 24, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Do you listen to what God has to say, and do you obey what God has to say? If that's you, then that's a good sign. But first you must receive Christ as your Lord and Saviour in order for Christ to be your foundation, to be the rock. Amen. You see, a wise man that builds his house upon a rock understands that it's what it's like to build a house on the sand. When the troubles of the world come and hits like a storm and everything falls apart, he grew tired, tired of trusting in himself and tired of ignoring God. No matter what he did, he could never find peace. One day the gospel was revealed to him and he understood why building a house on the sand would never work. 
but they trusting in but trusting in Christ as his Lord and Savior, he could build his house on the rock that no storm could knock down. Amen. That rock being Jesus Christ. If you could turn your Bibles with me to Psalm 18. We'll be reading verses 1 and 2. The Bible says, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. See, Psalms 18 was written by David and he spoke these very words on the day that the Lord delivered him from his enemies and from the hand of Saul. David declared the Lord as his rock and was given victory. If you're tired of losing in the sand, there's victory in the rock. Trust in Jesus Christ. 